What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we will be expanding the NBA, adding two new teams to the NBA, which is most likely going to happen here soon. Anyway, the two cities that will most likely get a team if I was a betting man are probably going to is probably going to be Seattle and Las Vegas, I would imagine. So today what we're going to be doing is going to be doing our first expansion rebuild of 2K23. I don't believe I've done one yet and if I have, it's been a very long time and we're going to be rebuilding the Seattle Supersonics, bringing them back to the NBA and rebuilding them until we get them a championship. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like on this one and subscribe if you are new to this channel. As always, greatly appreciated. We are on the road to 40,000 subs and your subscription would be greatly appreciated to help us get to that goal. Also, I'm going to go ahead and set, set a like goal of 250 likes. If you guys leave 250 likes on this video, I will be doing a 10-year expansion rebuild with a Las Vegas team. So I imagine that's a city that definitely could get a basketball team. Obviously, the, you know, they got the Summer League there. It's a good market there. So I imagine Vegas, Seattle would be the two teams I would bank on maybe getting an NBA team, obviously. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to see a 10-year Las Vegas rebuild, drop a like on this video, and I will do that video for you guys. But other than that, let's get straight into it. We get to start with an expansion draft. So... Uh, obviously you get the chance to protect players as well. I'm going to let, you know, what 2k has decided. I'm not going to mess with this. Let's get straight into the NBA or into the expansion draft. I should say. So as I said, I believe this is the first expansion draft I've done in 2k 23. So, uh, I'm pretty excited. Let's see how this goes. So Las Vegas hustlers, they take Brad to deal with the one one All right, let's see what we can get here. So we have clay, Jeremy Grant, Kevin Herter, Derek white, Jalen Duran, Mike Conley, Bo Domodanovic, Gordon Hayward. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Out of all the guys I've seen, I'm very, very intrigued by Jalen Duren. I really am. And we could go with like the uh, the big name, Clay Thompson, obviously. Or we can go get Jeremy Grant, but that's definitely not going to happen. I think we're going to start this draft with Jalen Duren. I really like that. We get our center of the future. Detroit, for whatever reason, in 2K does not value him whatsoever. So give me Jalen Duren. And then we get another pick here as well. So I kind of want to stick with a younger team. Uh, that we just kind of set ourselves up but i will i won't hesitate to maybe like add another like veteran to the team like we could go like mike conley but i'm kind of scrolling down the list and i saw herb jones and i was very very intrigued by that so we're gonna go ahead and steal mr herb jones from the pelicans and the hustlers are gonna go clay so they have Beal and clay and then they took jeremy grant so their team might be a playoff team right away so they're building for a team to compete right away so we've taken what we've taken jalen duran we also took herb jones so we could go Kevin Herter and get ourselves a really good shooter. And I actually really like the idea of that. I'm going to go Kevin Herter with this selection. And then we also get to pick another. Uh, we get to make another pick here. So I want to see if there's anyone else. I see Ludor and that one is definitely uh, catching my, ticket, or my attention. We can also get like Santi Aldama. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab Santi Aldama, 22-year-old power forward. We are setting ourselves up to be a very young team here with these selections. But let's see what... They go Lou Dort. That might have been my next pick. And then you got Dylan Brooks. So uh, Derek White still here. Mike Conley. I think I am going to go ahead and bring a veteran to the team. I'm going to select Mike Conley to be our point guard uh, veteran. Uh, via, be a veteran presence for these young guys that we have. And then we can take like a flyer on Jonathan Isaac as well. I'm not too, uh, not too uh, and you know, turned off by that. So I'm going to go ahead and get Jonathan Isaac with this selection. And then let's see what the hustlers do. So go Andrew Nimbard. And they go Trenton Wofford. Okay. Yeah, Bogey. I'm definitely not going Gordon Hayward. I'm going to be honest with you. Max Drews, Terrence Mann, Robert Covington, Kyle Lowry. Abaji is here as well. Man, this is pretty insane. Daniel Gafford is here. I think I'm 100% go. I'm going to go Abaji, and then I'm going to go grab Daniel Gafford. That is like just too good to pass up. By the way, uh, we are not using anyone's 2K share scenario today. We are using 2K's regular file, so um, expect the Hawks to be overpowered like usual and the rebuilds we were doing until we moved over to another file. Uh, but let's see what else we got. We got Jericho Sims, Isaiah Hardenstein, Grant Williams is here. We got Jalen McDaniels, PJ Tucker. There's a lot of talented young players here. I kind of want to grab another veteran though. And I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's see what do we got. So we got Levert, Max Shrews. I'm going to go Terrence Mann. It's not like the craziest veteran in the world, but I don't mind like a Terrence Mann. And then I might let the CPU, CPU draft the rest, I think. I think that's how we're going to do this. And then I'm going to select, uh, I mean, do we need more? uh what do i want do i have any forwards right now so i can go what have i drafted i i can't even remember what position i've drafted i'm going mcdaniels here and then that was what how many more picks do we have let's just see let's just see what happens sim entirely i'm gonna send the rest of the draft so orlando robson don't mind that io and they grabbed all oh, they did grab me gordon hayward and then reggie block both of them are expiring so it's fine 
uh it's not too upsetting so gordon hayward welcome to seattle but boom that was the expansion draft got that taken care of and now we can get straight into the season and see what we're about to look like so right now our best player is kevin herter obviously we're probably not going to be a very good team right away but i'm still excited about the team that we drafted i think we have a good a lot of good young foundational pieces we're very excited about so if we look at the rotation right away we got mike conley kevin herter gordon hayward santi aldama jalen Dern, herb jones jonathan isaac Terrence Mann, Oshai Abaji, Reggie Bullock, and then Daniel Gafford's not getting a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and move Daniel Gafford uh, to that back of five. I love having him here. And then I'm also going to move Herb Jones in for Gordon Hayward. I have no interest in having Gordon Hayward be part of the uh, plans long term here. So uh, only other thing we're going to do is we're going to send Orlando Robinson down to the G League just because we're not going to be using him right away. So he can go play in the G League. I don't know how many years he has on this contract, but you know, he may not resign with us. He's got a team option so we can bring him back. So he'll go to the G League and we're just going to go into some of year one. Obviously, we're going to be very bad right now. We have a default head coach. I wasn't even able to handpick my coach yet. So there's a lot of things we need to adjust. Shot tendencies. If we take a real quick look right now, we don't really have anybody uh, who is a leading guy, if you ask me. So um, I might just leave these all the same. We're going to be a very bad team. So we're probably just going to go ahead and start. Uh, this team being very or start this rebuild being very very bad but i'll see you guys in the offseason i don't think i'm gonna stop the trade deadline to make like a move right away i kind of want to just go ahead and draft somebody to start this rebuild so at the end of year number one trey young wins mvp vic is your rookie of the year he got john wall winning six man of the year on the 76 ers somehow he got their defensive player goes to vic as well jalen duran uh most improved and that's gonna lead to uh something you guys will see in a second but 17 and 10 he was amazing so i'm so glad we got jalen duran with our first pick in that expansion draft as i told you atlanta's back to be really good because we're on a we're back on two k's files uh default files or whatever but um jalen duran was amazing man and uh to my surprise we actually made the playoffs we were a top three set at one top three seed at one point i thought for sure we were going to be a lottery team this year and boy was i wrong we actually made the playoffs with a 60 in the west so that's very exciting uh as far as the las vegas hustlers are concerned or whatever they're called here uh they did not make it i thought for sure with the way they were drafting they would have like at least a playoff team but that's not the case at all so i feel like we walked away out of that expansion draft feeling really good but kevin herter 17 points Jalen Dern with 17 and 10 uh two blocks you love to see it gordon hayward uh, he broke his left leg. Uh, we won't be bringing him back anyway, so it doesn't matter too much, Mike Conley. I don't expect to win a championship this year, obviously. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can take down the Pelicans in round one. Uh, so they have CJ Daniels, Brandon Ingram, Trey Murphy. It looks like Zion Williamson is actually hurt right now. I don't know how long he's going to be out. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, but that's kind of fitting. I mean, Zion has been a guy that struggled with injury. He's out for four to six weeks. So I guess we run into them at a good time. I don't know if we take them out. We shall see. Uh, we went... We won four straight and we sweep the Pelicans. So just like that, we have made some really good noise here in this first season with the Seattle Supersonics. And we're not even a good team yet. Like we have some good pieces, but I do not for one second think this team is a contender at all. Like, I don't know, man. It's kind of crazy that we've gotten to round two. I didn't even think we'd make the playoffs. I imagine we get bounced by the Clippers. Let's see what happens here. And uh, Santi Aldama gets an ear infection. Inner ear infection out to one to two weeks. Interesting. I used to get ear infections all the time. Uh, they are not pretty. They hurt, man, I will tell you. Uh, but the Clippers go on to win the championship. And they got Philadelphia and Cleveland and uh, LA and Memphis. So let's go ahead and see. Or they got to the West Conference Finals. I think I, I think I just said they went on to win the championship. But that's not what I meant to say. Uh, I got the Grizzlies going on to win in four games. So I thought for sure we'd be starting this rebuild with a lottery pick. We get to draft a young player. Add him to the team. Slowly rebuild. But the way we just got to round two... I kind of want to go out there and be an aggressive suitor in free agency. I don't know what free agents are going to be here, but that's kind of my game plan right now is we're going to go try to chase free agents. So let's go see what the draft lottery is going to look like. So you're going to have the Las Vegas hustlers in their first year in the NBA make it into the lottery. So uh, Spurs get number one. Uh, you got uh, the hustlers. They get the fourth overall pick. So almost got some good lottery luck going their way the picks are not correct at all because like technically we're like behind with the updated roster so uh we're not gonna worry about the picks too much this is more for just like the expansion i guess uh but let's go ahead and uh fill this out and then i want to get a new head co i mean do we get a new head coach because technically we made it to the second round with the guy we have right now so i don't think it's warranted that i get rid of him i think we'll roll with him going into the next season so we'll just go ahead and keep him around even though his ratings are probably terrible but hey it worked out so we'll leave it there's no reason to fire him so other than that i'm gonna go ahead and get a post defensive coach we do have a draft pick so we're gonna add a rookie onto this team and then we are going to have i think a i think we're gonna have a max salary slot if i'm not mistaken we don't have a lot of money committed 
to a bunch of guys on the roster. So uh, with Hayward and Conley coming off the books, we should be in a really good spot. But let's even get with our first round picks. We're picking at 22. We have Ware on the board or Daryl Holmes. And honestly, I'm going to go ahead and go Keelan Ware. Welcome to the team. He's going to be the first pick of the Seattle Supersonics. Kyle goes one. Ron Holland goes two. And then we're going to have Keelan Ware and Chris Parker. I'm going to go ahead and sign Chris Parker to a two-way. It's not going to let me, actually, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So I guess I'll just sign him to the active roster. Uh, Jalen Dern, uh, no-brainer to me. We accept that. Cynthia Aldama, Abaji, and then uh, also Orlando Robinson, we will accept. I'm going to decline uh, John Isaac's team option. He got hurt again, so there's no reason to bring him back. $17 million, we get off our books. Qualifying offers, nothing is going on here. And the moment of truth, I don't know how much cap space we have, but I'm curious to see if we have a decent amount. So right now, it says we have negative $43 million. I'm not sure if that's actually true. I don't think it is. Actually, it might be. So it says we have $171 million in total. I don't know if that's um counting something no we have cap space okay i'm not sure why i was saying we don't but oh probably because it's cap holes maybe i don't know regardless what is the best free agent we could sign so right now if you look at the free agency pool we have lebron Kawhi, james harden paul george drew holiday demar de rose and siakam i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not impressed by any of the options on the table as far as these top options if i'm gonna sign someone to free agency i really want it to be like a younger guy someone maybe like in their prime uh, that could come in right away and help out. And I don't really see it. Like Claxton, my, you know, Miles Bridges, Spencer Dinwiddie. The only guy that somewhat intrigues me, Ulanzo is kind of interesting as well. Signing him off an injury, though, would be interesting, I will say. Yeah, the free agency is not as great as I thought it was going to be. So the one guy I do see that obviously I have a ton of interest in is Tyrese Maxey. Uh, he is a restricted free agent. Um, 20 points per game for the Philadelphia 76ers. We do kind of need a point guard for the future, and Maxi would be my prime candidate to got to get on this team in order to uh you know get that on our roster right now. So I think we're gonna try to sign Tyrese Maxi. I think that's gonna be our first target here. So uh do we have money sign a James Harden? We are a little off, but I'm gonna go for Tyrese Maxi. So Tyrese Maxi. I imagine Philadelphia matches this. Sometimes they don't, though, so we'll see what happens. But that is going to be the main target to start this video. So we're going to have to renounce everybody, which I'm totally fine with. Philadelphia has matched. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we wanted to try. It did not work out. So we do not get Tyrese Maxey. I mean, do we sign anyone in free agency, or do we kind of roll over our cap space into next year? The only other guy I could see signing is maybe like Alonzo Ball. Maybe it'll manage quickly. We can give like quickly a roll here in Seattle. I just don't know how much he'll develop, which is my only issue with that. Uh, and he's not really like the lead guy I'm looking for. You got Markel Fultz, who's also kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I wanted this free agency to be better. And obviously, you have a lot of like top guys, but I just don't really want to sign a 34 year old or anything like that. So, right now, I'm leaning towards not signing anybody too crazy. I might give Lonzo Ball like a one year deal. I think that's what we're going to go with. So, we need a point guard. And Lonzo, I can't imagine he would get this much coming off an injury. And I would imagine he accepts that player option. But we're going to go ahead and offer him a one-year deal. If things work out, we can bring him back for another year. But he'll be the lead guy in Seattle going into the next season. And we'll see how he does. I imagine he'll do good, obviously. Uh, but we'll see if he gets injured or not. Because the you know injuries are on here. Uh, but I don't think anyone's going to have to be paid next season. So that's a good thing we have going for us. So we can roll over our cow space into next year. If we want to go sign someone else there. Uh, so the only other thing I would like to do is maybe sign another power forward on the team. And we can give like Baisley or Obi Toppin like a roster so, or a spot on the roster. So I'm going to sign Obi Toppin. So yeah, this first free agency, nothing too crazy. Uh, but maybe at the trade deadline, we up our aggressiveness. There was, I thought about signing with the deadline to make a trade. But I was like, no, we can go in and draft and then, you know, sign someone in free agency. But right now that did not work out. So I kind of regret maybe not making a big trade at the deadline and just like starting this video off with a bang. But I'm fine with this route as well. Jalen Duran sprained left foot. If he's out for next season, I'm going to be so upset. Hopefully, that's just for the summer league because that is... Okay, he's back. Thank you. So, I was about to say, if our man Jalen Duran is out next season, I'm going to be very, very upset. Maybe Lonzo also does really good and we can use him in a trade to flip him for something else. We shall see. There's a ton of options we could go with here with Lonzo Ball being signed on the team. But I also do like him. Uh, so, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but let's get into this next season. Power Rank is going to line us at 29th again. Last year, they didn't like us very much either. And things still worked out for us. So I'm not going to go ahead and put too much stock into that. They still want Santiago Dama starting at the four. We're going to leave things the same. Things really seemed to work out last year. Leonard Robinson only up to a 73 overall. So didn't really develop that much once we sent him to the G League. But we have some assets. We do have some assets. We're still only a two and a half star balance system. So I'm surprised we made the playoffs with that. 
Uh, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead some way to the end of the season. We'll see if we can make it to the playoffs again. And if I do stop the deadline to make a big trade, I will show you. I almost plan on it unless if we're just like really bad and there's no point. So we are stopping at the trade deadline. I don't know what it is about this team, but we are really damn good. 40 and 18 on the season right now. And I thought about making a big trade right now, but I've taken a look at some things. So Kevin Herter right now is leading the way, averaging 20 points per game, which is really cool to see that. Kevin Herter is out here being the baller of this team. He's up to an 82 overall. Lon or, yeah, Lonzo with 18 and 9. Uh, we could trade for Lamelo right now if we wanted to or something like that. But I don't know, man. I'm feeling like we don't need to make any changes. We're doing so good right now. And another tempting thing about upcoming free agency is we have guys like Giannis. We're going to have Jason Tatum in free agency. Donovan Mitchell in free agency. Evan Mobley. Like, there's a lot of good free agents this coming off season that I think it would be worth it if we punted at this deadline and did not make, like, a single addition once again and just went into free agency and hoped we brought someone into the Seattle Supersonics. Now, it's going to suck not being able to have uh, Lonzo Ball back because I think it's going to have to, you know, obviously take losing him to get a Giannis or anything like that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and roll with what we have right now. Things are just going super well. I don't see the point of changing anything. We're going to bank on trying to get a Tatum or a Giannis in free agency and hope it works out for us. So at the end of year number two, we do end up as a second seed in this Western Conference. Went from what the sec, uh, sixth seed to the second seed, which is really cool. Uh, but as I showed you, uh, Kevin Herter, 20 and a half points per game, 18 from Jalen Duran, 17 and a half from Lonzo, 14 from Gafford, 13 from Herb Jones, and 12 from Oshai Abaji. Yeah, we got the second seed, but once again, I can't imagine we win a championship this year. The Blazers have Chris Murray, Bull Bull, Nurkic, Scoot Henderson. So have Dame, Anthony Simon, Shaden Sharp. We may lose to them. We shall see. Somebody current round against the Portland Trail Blazers, and we are going to beat them in five. So we're back in the second round again, and now we draw the Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, I don't know if we beat the Grizzlies. We shall see. I mean, it sounds like we have a good foundation because 2K, the simulation is really loving this team right now. Somebody current round against Memphis, and we do get Chris Parker hurt, which doesn't affect too much. We're up 3-2 to two on the Grizzlies. We're going to a game seven. Lonzo gets hurt, and now we're going to a game seven. So let's go ahead and see if we can come out here and win this game seven and punch our ticket to the Western Conference Finals. It's a back-and-forth game. Uh, we might be going home here, though, unless we steak. Uh, no, it's not looking good for us. So one a game away from getting to the Western Conference Finals, but... This offseason is where everything happens for us. We're either signing a free agent or making a trade. I mean, either way, we're doing something. The Hawks go on to win the championship. Uh, Chris Paul retires a warrior. Let's go straight to the lottery, though. So on draft lottery night, I want to see where our pick falls. So our pick is going to go ahead and fall, uh, let's see, at pick number 28. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with pick 28 in this draft. I don't think we're going to be doing too much with it. Um, at this point, I might even just sell it for future draft picks because... I'm not going to want to add a rookie to this team right now. We're clearly in contend mode at this point. So we're going to go ahead and ship our 28th pick for future draft picks. That's what I'm kind of hoping for at this point. So uh, we can trade for a few. I want two future first. If I can get like two future first, I'm going to do it. Although uh, I don't know why a 28th pick would net you two future first. I'll trade my first and my second. And then you give me like your 2028 Minnesota pick. They want a top three. Okay, we're going to... Okay, let's go back to trying to trade both our picks for two first. So 28, 29. I'm going to completely punt in this draft. And then we can get a top three protected Celtics pick. We could bank on the 2026 draft because as we know, the 2026 draft is really good. So may we just go with that Celtics pick and hope it works out and maybe we still take them from them as well. So we're going to go ahead and take that selection from the Celtics. We sell both our picks for a 2026 pick because we love that draft class. Jalen Duran, Abaji, uh, Chris Parker. I'm going to decline Chris Parker because I want as much money as possible. And then uh, I went to look at player options. So what did everyone do? So we got Vic. All right. So the main guys I'm curious about is uh, Tatum and Giannis. So entire league, we got both, all three. All three of the guys I was looking at the trade deadline, they all three declined their uh, player options, and they're all going to be unrestricted free agents. This is amazing. It's all working out. Santi Aldama is a restricted free agent. I wouldn't mind bringing him back, but if we have to renounce him to get like a Giannis in here, I mean, I might have to do it. So, Giannis on the Koopa right now, best offers from the Pacers. Uh, Jason Tatum, on the other hand, best offers from the Mavericks. Imagine I could find a way to pull off both. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, you got Donovan Mitchell as well. I will definitely be interested in Donovan Mitchell. So, Let's see who is making money on this team still. So I know Gaffer's making some money. So right now, Herb Jones is making some money. Herder's making some money. And then Gaffer's making some, making some money. So my game plan 
is he either get Giannis or Tatum here easily. That's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and offer both of them a deal. And right now we're only, we're not gonna be able to get Giannis. If we can't get Giannis, I'm hoping we can get Jason Tatum. I would love nothing more than to get at least one of them. Can we get one? Please one. Let's go, baby. We can get Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is coming to the Sonics, baby. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to keep uh, Santi Aldama if we can. And then we're going to have to renounce Lonzo, unfortunately. It's going to suck to lose him. He was pretty good for us. But Jason Tatum, we're bringing him back or bringing him to the Sonics, not bringing him back. We're also stealing him from Boston, which is also really cool. So got him away from Boston. And it says we can still sign Lonzo Ball. So sign me up for that. Bring Alonzo Ball in as our point guard. Sign me up for that all day. So now we have our uh, brand new duo, which I love. And then Santi Aldama, we're signing him back as well. And now we have ourselves a contender in my mind. And we might be able to make another trade as well. So... We have Lonzo Ball, Ayo Desumu. We have Kevin Herter, Oshaya Baji, Jason Tatum, Herb Jones, Santi Aldama, Jalen Duran, Daniel Gafford, and Keelan Ware. I love it, man. We're going to move Tatum to the four as well. He even goes up in overall. That way, Herb Jones can still start at the three and be that perimeter three and D guy for us. And we're going to sign a, a wing here. So let's go ahead and do just that. But we're able to go ahead and uh, come through with our game plan. I see Cody Martin out here. I see Terrence Davis. I'm going to go ahead and sign Terrence Davis. And that will be our offseason. So we went ahead. All right, we traded for a 2026 pick for the future. And we were able to steal Jason Tatum from the Celtics. We stole Boston's 2026 pick and then stole their power forward or small forward, whatever you want to say. So welcome to the team, Jason Tatum. Player progression. And we got Lonzo Ball back as well, which is also a W on top of everything else. So progression. Tatum is up. Jalen Dern is up. Herb Jones is up. And then Kevin Herter, uh, Oshai Baji. Everyone is developed. Even Keelan Ware is up. That's amazing. So we might be able to throw like uh, Gafford and Herb Jones together at the deadline, maybe for like another big trade. Uh, we have food poisoning going to Malcolm Sanders, but we've been really good in the video so far. And I feel like adding Jason Tatum to this team is only going to enhance that. So I am super ecstatic about this next season. So let's go ahead and see what this is going to look like going into next year. I can't imagine things uh, don't go uh, better than they already have. So Let's see what we got going on here. So power ranking is going to last at second. It's been really bad before. We still have the same head coach, but man, it's been working with them. So Lonzo, Kevin Herter, Herb Jones, Tatum, Jalen Duran, Abaji, Gafford, Ayodesumu, Santi Aldama, and then Keelan Ware is just waiting in the shadows to get minutes if someone gets hurt. So proficiency, it's now a three and a half. It was only like a two star when we started this thing. So we have really come far from this. So Herter, keep doing your thing. Tatum, welcome to the team. Let's see how we do in year number three. So we're at the trade deadline as right now we're the fourth seed in the Western Conference. Now we have had some injuries, unfortunately. So Jason Tatum is getting hurt. Lonzo Ball is hurt at the moment. And uh, I'm tempted to make a move here at the trade deadline, man. That's kind of where we're at at this point. One guy that I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him be a 91 overall. And right now I'm looking to upgrade my uh, small four spot with Herb Jones. I actually like Herb Jones a lot, uh, but I feel like if we can pull off this move, it'd be worth it. You guys know who I'm talking about. I, he, some people troll me for getting him all the time, but he's one of my favorite players. Uh, Mikael Bridges. I don't know if I can ever remember a time where he's been a 91 overall. So uh, this might just be... I am using like a custom roster, but it's not like a share scenario, if that makes sense. So Mikael Bridges, though, he's really good right now. I mean, 25 points per game. We could add him next to Lonzo and Tatum. I think that's a no-brainer if we try to get him right now. So... We're going to go ahead and try to get Mikael Bridges here. Let's try to pull this off. So right now, if I just simply ask for him, I want to see what they'd want for him. So no offers were found. That's fair enough. He might be very tough to trade for, but I am willing to, uh, you know, go and offer as much as I can. So Mikael Bridges is, wow, his trade value is through the roof. And, uh, you know, it's kind of how Brooklyn holds him in uh, real life. So maybe this is going to be tough. So I am going to have to offer like Gafford and I think Herb Jones. So Herb Jones and Gafford would be where I start this trade off. So then you can give me like Ricky Rubio. So Gafford and Herb Jones. And then what is this Boston pick doing for you? So uh, it's not doing much. And then I'll trade you um, another pick. So I don't know if this gets it done, but I'm going to offer it. And they don't agree to it right away. That's fair. Okay. I'm also going to be willing to throw you. I'm going to try to keep Keelan Ware out of the trade because I want him to step up. And then I'm going to throw a 2029 Seattle pick. And they agree we got Mikael Bridges. So just like that, we got our brand new small forward of the future with Mikael Bridges on the team. And we're in business now. So Lonzo Ball is hurt, but Mikael Bridges is on the team now. That should make us only better when Tatum and Lonzo are back. And Abaji will be at full strength. And we're going to be a damn good team. That gives Keelan Ware an opportunity as well, which he was already playing anyway but gives him even more of an opportunity. So let's go ahead. Keep simulating. I love the new addition of Mikael Bridges. And then one other thing I want to look at 
is I want to see what Kevin Herter is thinking about an extension right now. And right now, uh, he is testing free agency. That's what he wants to do. Let's see if he changes his mind if we get to the contract extension deadline. Because I want to resign him. He's been amazing for us. So I do not want to lose him. That was another good pick. So Jalen Dern, Kevin Herter, two steals of a pick in that expansion draft. Um, let's see. Does he change his mind? Does he want to sign an extension yet? He is still going to test free agency. So we'll go ahead and talk to him in free agency. He's been amazing. So he's definitely part of the long-term plan. So here we are at the end of year number three. I believe we are the second seed once again in back-to-back -back years. And we are a healthy team going to the playoffs, which is amazing. So uh, 26 from Mikael Bridges, 26 from Jason Tatum, 19 and 11 from Jalen Duran, 15 from Kevin Herter, 15 from Lonzo, and then also seven and a half assists on top of that. 12 from Abaji, seven and then seven. I'm not going to lie to you. I feel really, really good about the team we've thrown together. This team is probably one of my more favorite starting fives that I've thrown together uh, the way we have. I mean, obviously, the expansion draft is a whole new dynamic that you usually don't use, obviously. But getting Tatum in free agency, trade from Mikel Bridges, also drafting Kevin Herter, then signing Alonzo in free agency, taking a chance on him, even though it's not really a chance because he's, he's a good player. It's just, you know, obviously, in real life, it would be, I guess, a chance because of his injury. But still, I feel really good. So hopefully... We can bring in championships to Seattle here in these in these playoffs. So we get Denver in round one. They got Jamal Murray, KCP, Middleton. That's a good addition for them. Aaron Gordon, Jokic, Br uh, Christian Brown, Sasha, Riley, and then Goga Bidadze, Jalen Pickett. So pretty solid team in Denver. We shall see how things go. So many current round against the Denver Nuggets, and we are going to sweep them. So did we get injured in that series? Yes, Lonzo Ball's hurt. He's out four to six weeks. Mikel Bridges is out for the season, isn't he? Sore neck day to day. What I mean, he is down bad. I mean, he's down 16 overall. Damn, bro. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so right now they want Mikel Bridges to play really through that. 16 overall downgrade, and he's playing through that. Lonzo Ball, that sucks to lose him. Have I Sumu playing? We get what the Rockets in round two. Ah oh, man, that sucks to have injuries. Game one, we're up one to zero though. Beat them by 50. That's insane. Okay, game two, two to zero. So far, so good. I mean, as long as we have Tatum, I think we're good. And Mikel Bridges, okay, he's starting to get better. Lonzo Ball still out. So, I mean, Mikel Bridges is up to an 89 now, which is good. Okay, do we sweep them as well? Do we lose a game yet? We have not lost a game. So now we get the Thunder, I imagine. And yes, the Oklahoma City Thunder. So the team that stole Seattle's franchise, it's time to get revenge. They have Ian Jackson, Williams, Case and Wallace. Very good team in Oklahoma City, as we know. Lonzo Ball is still not back, unfortunately. How close is he to being back? Let's see. Um, so Oshai Baji's hurt as well. He's been getting hurt a lot, but... Uh, Lonzo, not a fair opportunity. He is two to four weeks away. And then Oshai Baji is day-to-day. So game one, down one to zero to the Thunder. They beat us by five. So that sucks. Game two, down two to zero. Game three, can we even it up in game four? Yes, we can. Okay, we're not done just yet. And now we can go ahead and simulate game five in Oklahoma City to see if we can take a three to two lead here and be in the driver's seat to punch our ticket to the NBA Finals with our squad. Right now, it's looking pretty good as long as we hang on to the lead. And just like that, we are going to go ahead Beat the Thunder 123 to 101. Ayodesumu and Lonzo Ball's absent absence is playing fantastic. And then we'll see how this last game goes. Lonzo Ball up to an 80 overall. He is sneaking his way back. Game six to close the series out in Seattle. Can we go ahead and beat the team that stole our franchise and send them home? Let's see. Uh, they have the lead right now, but we're slowly creeping back into it. But I think they went on another run. And yeah, I think we lost. We're going to a game seven unless... Yeah, we lost. Okay. 139, 140, 134. Lonzo, are you ready to be back? It would be wonderful to have you in this game seven. He's two to week, one, two weeks away still. Okay. Cleveland and Miami is also going to seven. So here we go. Game seven in Oklahoma City. Here goes nothing. Can we go ahead and come out here and take care of business? Uh, it is as close as it can be, but the Thunder might start to run away with it a little bit. And I think they got it. Damn, man. Okay, wait. We're only down eight. Maybe we're going to run. It's not over yet. 109, 111, 114. Okay, if we can get it close, I might jump in here. So, uh, but it's not looking good. So we're going to fall short to the Thunder. That sucks, man. The Thunder are one of those teams that just, uh, they're just, they just get good the further you go. Close game. We were up three to two at one point, but we fall short. And it would have been wonderful to have Lonzo Ball healthy in that series. But unfortunately, him getting hurt does not help. Thunder, Miami, and you're going to have the Thunder going to win the championship. So we lost to the team that eventually went on to win. Very disappointing, but at this point, I think we simply are just going to be running it back. Um, I can't imagine. I think we traded the picks away, so we're not going to be worried about. We have a pick in this draft, uh, but I'm not going to worry about it. I think we're obviously in contender status. I'm not worried about some rookie coming to the team. 
So if I did fire my head coach, because there is definitely better options, that would be like the one thing I feel like I can do right now that I can easily control. So I'm going to go with Steve Kerr, offer him a contract. Eric Spolstra is also here. I'll offer him a contract. And then we'll see if we can get one of them. If not, we'll also throw an offer at uh, usually like Darvin Ham is out here. You can get him like every time. You also have Adrian Griffin. Wouldn't be opposed to that. Is there anybody else? Steve Clifford, Darvin Ham, as I said. Usually you can get him pretty easily. So I'll just sign him if uh, I can't get the other two. So yeah. I'll sign Darvin Ham. He'll be our brand new head coach. Has a ton of badges. So welcome to the team. Let's go straight to player options. Let's see if the fourth season is going to be our lucky charm. So player options. Keelan Ware is a free agent. Or, or he has a our team option. And then Abaji and Jalen Dern are free agents. So no brainer. Bring both of them back. And then we also have to resign Mikhail Bridges. Who we resign or traded for at the deadline. So Herder also is a free agent. Our team is getting expensive. I think it's safe to say we bring everybody back that's listed here. So Herder. Uh, we're gonna bring him back no brainer to my opinion he was phenomenal for us so i mean even even if i can underpay him maybe just a little bit that would be great so we're not gonna renounce anybody uh especially not mikhail bridges i need to offer him a contract right away what am i doing so mikhail he's got eight offers yeah i'm messing around too much we got to offer him a contract immediately i don't know why i didn't offer it to him. i don't know why i didn't offer it to him on day one i might be losing mikhail bridges here that is gonna be the worst thing that can happen right now literally um Bridges, please don't do this to me. I don't know if I can make this any better. I will give you a no trade clause if that's what it takes. Um, let's see. No trade clause. Please come back. Please come back to Seattle, my friend. Please. I need you. Dallas. Okay, we're back as number one offer. W. Okay. I almost just sold there. We're back as number one offer. I had to give him no trade clause. Did I want to? No, but I wasn't going to lose him for nothing. That would have sucked really badly. So next, Jalen Duran. He's going to get a bag. So our team's getting expensive, but we're on the verge of winning a championship. So I'm not even too concerned about it. We're just going to give all the money away in the world. I would be the worst financial girl. I would be the worst financial guy in the NBA if you asked me anything. So I'll just be like, sign them all. All right, here we go. Uh, team, I think is going to be good. I think we're good. So the only other thing I will do is sign a center. I'm going to sign Isaiah Hardenstein and I'm also going to sign uh, Penny Smith. Why not? So we'll sign both of them. If we can get both of them, that'd be great. Can we sign Isaiah Hardenstein as well? We cannot. So we don't have room to sign Isaiah Hardenstein. We'll just go ahead and give Mr. Eubanks a contract. So welcome to the team. All right. We're going to next season. Looking for a championship. Hopefully it will be there for us. Let's go straight to player progression and see what this is going to look like going into this year. So we have uh, Lonzo Ball, 82. Keelan Ware up to a 79. And then Drew Eubanks is down. So no one's developing too crazy. Lonzo, please, for the love of everything I know, Stay healthy this year. We could have used you last year. We are going to go ahead and bank on this being the year that we won a championship. I think with Darvin Ham as our new head coach, uh, we should be healthy going into this season. I'm feeling good. I think things are going to be going our way. The only team we obviously have to worry about is the Thunder. We're at a four and a half proficiency. I mean, the team is locked up for the next foreseeable future. I don't see where we could go wrong. I'm also going to just run a nine rotation, of course, and then we'll use our bench utilization. Maybe actually we'll, we'll keep it at 60. So proficient or the only other thing i wanted to look at was um actually no, i already looked at it. what am i talking about so i'll see you guys at the end of this season so at the end of this season we finished up as the first seed in the western conference we actually got it at the very end if we take a look at the player stats for the season yeah 27 from mikel 24 from jalen duran uh wow okay tatum's out for the season that's great 17 points per game eight games played are right, we gonna be able to do without jason tatum that's gonna be tough uh the fact we got the first seed without him is still a great sign but man not having him for this championship run i mean jalen Duren's holding it down though 24 and 13. well i mean we were really good before tatum got here so hopefully we can just bank on that we swept denver last year we'll see if we can do it again i have a bad feeling about this and we are going to okay we beat them in five but now we get the Houston Rockets. I'm not sure how confident I am beating the Rockets. We have an 88 Amon Thompson coming off the bench. They also have Karen Boozer on the team now. So um, we'll see. We beat them by 23 there. So not a bad start. Or was that 33 if I'm doing math? Or that's 53 if I can do. Or I don't even know if I'm doing math right. Just ignore what I'm saying. Uh, they even it up. Game three, two to one. Yeah, we might be running into trouble. Are we injured? Down three to one to the Rockets. And... Uh, Tatum is, you know, making his way back, but that's two years in a row now where we've had an injury. Okay, we're not done yet. We're still climbing back into this, so let's see if we can win game six to force a game seven back to Seattle. We might be able to do so, and it's looking good for this one, unless they come back and steal it, but no, we win game six. We're not done yet. Oklahoma City is awaiting us once again, 
But man, it sucks not having Tatum right now. Can we win this game seven? Back and forth with Houston. They take the lead. We take it back. They take it. We take it back. And we are going to win game seven. So 120 to 129. Mikel Bridges, 49 points, holding it down for us. But now we get the Oklahoma City Thunder. So even with Tatum gone, we still found a way to make it this far. So Tatum, I, I would love to have you right now, but let's just go. So Oklahoma City in round one. We're up 1-0, 119-104. 39 from Mikel Bridges, 23 from Jalen Durant. If I didn't have Mikel Bridges right now, I'd be absolutely just... I would be in such a bad way right now. So game two, two to zero. So right now, Mikel Bridges, Jalen Duran are holding it down. I will say that. Can we win three to zero? No, this is where they come back, right? Nope, three to one. Do we beat them? In Without Jason Tatum, we made it to the NBA Finals. The Pacers did get, I was about to say, the Pacers did get Giannis. So I was kind of scared to play them, but we played the Miami Heat instead. Who got Dame and Shaden Sharp? Okay. How on earth did that happen? Um, can someone fill me in on that? How that went down? Okay, I am so confused. They got money. They, they were able to sign both of them. How do they have that much money? How did they pull that? I'm so con Whatever. I I don't know how, how this is going to go. We win game one. 38 from Mikael Bridges. 30 from Kevin Hurd. 25 and 18 from Jalen Dern. Okay. I, I don't know what's happening. Do we go up three to one? No, we let them even it up. Okay. Oh, uh, do we have an injury? Do we have an injury right now? Do we have anybody else? Lonzo gets hurt. Okay, that might be the end of us. Lonzo Ball is hurt as well. Dude, we got literally Jason Tatum is out, and now Lonzo's hurt again, man. Out for the season. All right, game five. I mean, we're at home for this one. Maybe we can find a way to still pull it off. I think as long as we have Mikel Bridges. I mean, it's looking good for game five. The injuries can't stop us, it looks like. Okay, 110 and 134. We close it out in six. Let's go, man. Even with Lonzo and Jason Tatum injured, we still pulled it off, bro. With Jason Tatum being out for the season, we still pulled it off. I don't know why the simulation was in love with me today. I thought at the very beginning we were going to be very, very bad. But I will take that each and every day. Would have loved Tatum on this championship run, but we got it without him. Uh, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This was an absolute fun one. Again, if you guys want to see that 10-year Las Vegas rebuild, make sure to drop a like on this one, and I will be doing it for a video in the future. But for now, I'll see you on the next one. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.